What's good, Boxing First Blog, back in the building, hit you with another one, too. You can see on your screen the topic, the man of the conversation will be Jerron Boos Ennis. And what's going on with him right now? Obviously, we hear the Brian Norman Jr. situation. This is a guy that he sparred with. This is a guy that they have a, a bit of a history. They kind of know each other. But for the fact that he's a champion now and, and it's a unification, I think this is a fight that boxing fans definitely need. It's a fight that Duran Boots and his shouldn't avoid. Even if it the payday might not be where he desires it, it's definitely a fight he should take. It's a unification. It's part of his Boston legacy. Just grabbing straps right now since the big names have avoided you for so long and will continue to avoid you. And we see why. It's on your screen. They're scared. The, even their fans are scared. See, they say it's about you don't have a name. It's not a money fight. No, that's just cap, man. These dudes are scared because they've seen the work that this guy's putting in. And it's vicious work, man. You, It's on your screen, man. He's laying dudes out. He, I mean, viciously laying cats out. And they don't want to see their guy like that. They don't want to see Bud stretched out on the canvas like that after such a legendary career that he's had. So they're scared. And they, they say all of these different stupid reasons on why Boots doesn't deserve that fight or a fight such as that, even a Spence, even at the time of Sean Porter when his name was ringing bells, none of these guys wanted to fight Boots. None of them. So is that Boots' fault or is that they fault? That's their fault. So all the hate that you people out here in these YouTube streets in this boxing world is giving boots. Y'all need to fall back with that, man. Look at this man's resume. Respect this man's resume. And, and just be honest and say, yo, we scared that you're going to hurt our guy, man. And we don't want our guy to be hurt like that. Y'all talk Spence into that fight. Spence did not take that fight because Al and anybody from PBC wanted it. Spence took that fight because his fans really thought he could win that fight. So he allowed that support and that belief to enter in his mind, and he accepted the fight and went in there and got demolished. C is different now when it comes to Boots. The fans of Bud and any of these other guys, they know Boots capabilities and they just won't say it. They're not on these airways. They're not on the, on the internet saying, yo, Boots is vicious, man. And that's just simple. We want to avoid that that viciousness. We want to avoid that that humiliation that he puts, that he gives out to uh, his opponents. Like, I mean, the walk-offs, the walkaways, it's crazy. This dude is, he's a machine, man. He's a machine. He's a machine. Well-oiled, schooled by Pops. Shout out to uh, Bozy doing his thug thizzle. Definitely trying to earn trainer trainer of the year or be respected to coming into 2025 20, as a uh, top trainer, trainer of the year situation. So anyway, man, I, I just had to get on here and tell y'all guys to stop the cap and, and just be honest about you don't want to see your guy. He's older now and I get it. You don't want to see him destroy his legacy by losing to Boots. Y'all should have had that fight happened years ago that way we could kind of almost put it on the back burner as bud continues to grow and do what he does as spence would have continued to grow and do what he does in the ring y'all could have took this loss from boots years ago and still been the guys that y'all are today but y'all 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 you know fear you know fear just be honest scared just be honest and say i'm scared that's all you have to do and as far as boots is concerned and what he needs to do the blunt truth is boots you're going to have to look back, Boots. You're going to have to look back at the Brian Normans, these undefeated cats coming up. And you're just going to have to stop their shine, man, because the OGs and the guys that have established names, they're scared of you and they don't want to fight you. So to build your legacy and to plant your your flag as, as a boxing great, go backwards, but uh, Boots. Start giving these shots. The shots that they didn't give you, you give it to the up-and-coming dudes now, like I said, such as the Brian Norman Juniors and thanking guys like that. And that, that'll be the way for Boots to build his legacy. If he can get these other champions in the ring, go ahead and unify. If not, go up to 154 and, and continue to prove that these dudes are running from you. Because cause, cause Bud's still there. Spence going to be there. So if he goes up to 154, if these other champions, uh, uh, Barrios and Stan Jonas, don't want to fight him, which I, I doubt seriously that they do want that, 
They don't want that. They're trying to give Barrios a Pacquiao fight, which is just terrible. I've heard no news on Stan Jonas and him sitting on that strap. So anyway, man, y'all got to tell me what y'all think in that comment section, man. This has just been a blunt truth edition, trying to be brutally honest about this uh, Jerron Boots in the situation that where he stands in boxing right now. A lot of hate, a lot of hate. I mean, a lot of hate. And y'all need to stop, man. Y'all seriously need to stop with all this hate, man. Boxing first vlog, man. Just, again, it's the blunt truth. It's honesty at its finest level. And that's what we need more in boxing. To be honest, to be truthful, to be uh, open. To be like a glass, see-through. You understand what I'm talking about? That being said, man, until the next time, keep your guard up and stay in the fight. Boxing first vlog, I'm gone.